Hey everybody, it's Sherry at The Crafty Decorator. Happy Thursday, everybody. I just got done painting the bathroom about an hour ago. Uh, just the primer, it still needs the color on. Uh, you hear Teddy over there rumbling. Um, I'm just here with a quick pre-recorded video for the caramel apples. Now, Jennifer Keaton, I think is the name, sent me her directions on how she did them. But Mayan, I don't know. I couldn't get it to work like her. Um, okay. I ran, to, well, my daughter-in-law took me to Michael's so I can get green apples. I do not like Michael's green apples. I'm just going to tell you that. Get them at Hobby Lobby if you have a Hobby Lobby. Um, I have a hard time getting the stick in them. And they're so banged up and stuff. They squish them. All right. Anyways, she, uh, Jennifer used nutmeg paint color paint. Um, they did not have nutmeg, so I got honey brown. Oh my God, do you hear the dogs? They're great. They decide they're going to play right now. <laughs> okay, I'm using honey brown by Deco Art. So what you want to do first is paint your apple. Uh, you'll hear the paper rustling. Their, their toy has like crinkly paper in it. All right, now, you're not going to want to paint all the way around the top. You're going to want to leave some of this space open. So, let's see. Oh, there goes my napkins. Uh, let's see here. You need two. I did two coats. Um, I did two coats of the brown paint. But you want to leave. You don't want to go all the way to the stem. You want to leave some of that green or red. You can use red apples also. Um, I just like the shape of these ones. I'm going to have to get my paper towels from the floor. Yeah, these are pretty banged up. So at least my peanuts are going to cover them. And I'll show you what I use for those. I'm not sure if Walmart carries the bird litter slash bedding. Um, they have it online. I'm not sure if they have it in the store. It's kind of expensive online. I think it's PetSmart has it on sale for $6.99. Or maybe you can use bird seed. Um, I didn't look at that. But I got the rodent. Uh, well, she said rodent bedding. It. I got the bird one. It's the same thing. It's made from corn. Okay. So you want to give your apple a coat of paint. Then you're going to need to let it dry. But see how I left the top? Whoops. I got to get my paper towels. I left the top there. Uh, I'm done. I tip it upside down to dry. Let me grab my paper towel. Okay. Just want to clean my paintbrush. Because <laughs> I'll need it for my Maj Podge. All right. I'm going to show you that um, finished. I should have showed you the finished uh, caramel apple. Okay. Here's my finished caramel apple, guys. How cute is this? Isn't it cute? I need to probably pick some of these little. My peanuts went up a little bit. Oh, see, this is why I do not like Michaels. Um, there's something down in that center that won't let my stick. I have to hot glue it in there. I'll have to hot glue it. I hot glued the other one. I need to hot glue this one. But how cute are these? So you can make some candy apples and some caramel apples. Okay. One coat, let it dry. Do a second coat, and this is what it's gonna look like right here. See all the bangs in it? Okay, now I put my stick in because I have to put glue on there. Now, Jennifer said she put uh, high, like the glossy Mod Podge on there and then put the peanuts on it, but my peanuts would not stick whatsoever so <laughs> my daughter-in-law had see this sticks just don't want to go down in there there is like 
something down in there that doesn't want to let your stick go down. So I'm probably going to have to hot glue this one too. Uh, Hobby Lobby is much better. Their apples are much better. I'm going to tell you that right now. Because there is something in there that doesn't want to let my stick stay. So I am probably going to have a problem putting the peanuts on. I should have brought my hot glue gun in here just in case. Okay, these are just the pop sticks. Um, I got the ones for the candy apples at Hobby Lobby. These came from Michael's because I'm here. Um, yeah, this is not going to work for me. It's almost, I think, it might be that black thing on the bottom. That's really weird. It just doesn't want to go in there. I'm going to have to hot glue it. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a little problem putting the peanuts on because my stick isn't going to work. Okay, anyways. Jennifer used the Super Gloss Mod Podge and she covered the apple and then she put, she said small rodent, but I got the bird one. It's bird, um... Bedding and litter. Easy clean bedding and litter for birds. And it's made from corn. It's made from corn. Now, I found the me the least messy way was I threw some in a grocery bag. I put some in a grocery bag. And they go like this. So, I don't make a big mess with it. <laughs> Okay, so I could not get my peanut things to stick good with the Mod Podge. I wish I had my Clear Grip Gorilla Adhesive because that's what I would have used. Um, my daughter-in-law had Gorilla Clear Gorilla Glue. Clear Gorilla Glue. But this takes a long time to dry. And I like the adhesive. And it's kind of greasy. But I used it. And it worked. So, here's what I did. Now, if it stayed on my stick, I would have just squeezed this on here and spread it out. But it's not staying on my stick. So, I think I'm going to brush it on. I'm just going to squeeze some in a cup. And I am going to brush it on. Because it's not going to stay good. So I am just gonna brush my glue on. This might be less messy actually, but it's gonna be hard. because You should be able to hold this by your stick. But my stick isn't gonna work. So, I'm not doing the stick. Then I stick it in here. I probably should do more. Um, maybe I should just do the whole thing. You're gonna cover your whole painted area. I gotta get rid of the stick. My hands are gonna be really sticky. wish this was the adhesive but you use what you got we say that all the time so we are using this <laughs> yes my hands it's gonna be sticky So you can try the Mod Podge if you want. Um, I couldn't get it to work. Okay, so then I put it in this bag and I kind of press my peanuts all over it. So you can flip it. 
there are like little corn hairs in here also. Oh, you probably can't see what I'm doing because I have the bag up. didn't come up all the way. Yep, need more glue there. See, they don't want to stay. <laughs> now we're brushing them off. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I really, I didn't have this much trouble earlier. <laughs> It always goes that way, but see how they don't. Um, I tried the Mod Podge and the Mod Podge, and that just did not work at all for me. If you have your clear grip adhesive, I'm gonna suggest you use that. Um, here's what I did. I got like a bunch of these to stick on here, and then I let it dry. And you have to let it dry for, I don't know, like two hours. This glue does not dry as fast as the adhesive. Now, if you're using the adhesive, they would stick in like 10 minutes. Um, you could try Elmer's glue, maybe. Um, but that's like a Mod Podge, and I couldn't get it to work. So, I went the way of the glue. But I get them to stick. And then I let it dry. And then I go back and I fill in areas that look too empty to me. Let's see, like, maybe it's the apple. I don't know. I'm not liking these Michael's apples. So maybe it's the apple. I think I need a lot of glue. <laughs> really, they're not this hard. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Mm. I think it was better when I squeezed the glue on because it gave it more glue. I'm going to squeeze it on there. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze it on and spread it out. I think squeezing it is better because you get more glue. I think and that's better. Yes, that's better. See, I shouldn't have changed the way I did it. Squeezing the glue on is better because now they stay. So we need to squeeze it on there. Yeah. That's Teddy. They think they hear somebody outside. Or they may see someone walking. That's much better. Okay, squeezing it is better. Yes. <laughs> okay. My son is, my son's on a business call in there, so they better not get too loud. Okay. Oh, there they go. Okay, now I will let this dry. I'm gonna let this dry and then look at it. And if I need to add more, I will just um, add a little glue, squeeze some glue on there and add some more of these 
popcorn peanuts. I call them peanuts. I'm calling them peanuts. I'm like a mess today, guys. Sorry. That's painting. Okay, I'm going to have to hot glue my stem in there. Okay. So, after that's dry, and if I want to add more peanuts, I got to let it dry again. Now, use the Gorilla Clear Grip Adhesive. That's what I'm going to use when I go home. I am going to want to add more peanuts up there. Um, when I go home, I'm going to try it with my Clear Grip Adhesive and see how that is. But I am just winging it right here now. Okay. So this is what it looks like after it dries. Now, she sprayed it with a shellac, and you can most, most certainly do that. I do not have shellac here, and I wasn't gonna ask them to run me back to the store. So what I did, I used my super glossy, super gloss Mod Podge. That is what I used. And I just brushed my whole apple with it. I just work it in there. See the peanuts like stay. I'm gonna get my top and I just brush this on. Dab in between my peanuts. But if you have some spray shellac, you could do that. Uh, I didn't have any. But if you don't want to run out and buy something special, this works. This works. But these look just like peanuts on here. It's amazing. Probably gonna have to let this dry for an hour or so. It does dry clear, so don't worry about the cloudiness of it. But I'm just dabbing in between my peanuts. Brushing, dabbing. Making a mess. Now this is what she used to put on her peanuts, but I tried it and my peanuts wouldn't stay. I just don't think it's thick enough or something to hold them. But you can try it. Maybe you could get it to work. <laughs> Cause I couldn't. Okay. There we go. This is what it looks like. Oh, I got a glare coming in the window, but this is what it looks like when it's wet. And then when it dries, it's gonna look like this. Is this not cool? So now you can mix your candy apples and your caramel apples together. Oh, see, I gotta hot glue them in there. I gotta hot glue them. Don't buy your apples at Michael's. <laughs> <laughs> Don't buy your apples at Michael's. Okay, I am going to let you all go, and I need to clean, finish these and uh, clean up my mess and work on some blogs. <laughs> but I hope you're all having a fantastic day, guys. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.